And this doctor's name is Dr. Game Shark. Professor Dr. Game Shark. Hopefully Professor Doc Okay, good. I was actually a little worried there that Professor Dr. Game Shark would not uh would not cooperate. So the uh the XCOM funding board was getting very very concerned that the XCOM project would take far too much time and resources. So they've authorized the use of this promising up-and-coming scientist, Mr. Doctor. Mr. Doctor Game Shark. All right, do I have the Alone in the Dark disc here? I do. Okay. All right, so we're going to make some significant headway. <laughs> Significant headway. Are you fucking kidding me? Sometimes it does this. Come on. Sometimes it just doesn't like the disc. Alright, gonna let the disc spin for a second. And then the doctor. Gonna do his work. There we go. Sometimes the doctor gets a little confused. This isn't a PlayStation disc. Alright, now where is the cord for the mouse? Alright, so I tried this out a little bit earlier um, with the controller, and it actually works pretty good with just the regular PlayStation controller. But I'm going to keep using the mouse. No, it's not that the, the disc is bad. Well, it's a bad game. I agree. Um, sometimes uh, when you put in the disc, like the there's a little mechanism inside the PlayStation 2 that detects like, hey, there's a disc in here. Or, hey, there's no disc in here. Sometimes that thing just like flips on and off a few times when it's trying to read the disc. And it just confuses the hell out of uh, the hell out of the system. Yeah, the Game Shark tells me if the game is bad or not. I practically don't even have to review these. Dr. Game Shark knows if a game is bad. Uh, what was the name of that again, Ark? Uh, was that Sheep Raider was the name? If so, it's still on my to-do list. I haven't uh, added any games uh, since the last stream. Oh, no! Nope, nope, don't do that. Oh, fuck. Misclicks, boys. Okay, can I go back to the main menu here? Alright, fine. We're gonna make a base. Urs. And we're going to abandon it immediately. There we go. <sighs> okay. Load saved game. <laughs> that would have been a very bad misclick if you could. Also, it's a little dumb, you couldn't just back out of that menu. Again. Looney Tune Sheep Raider. Huh. How many games did the, the mouse? Um, well, so far, uh, there's this, there's Broken Sword 1 and 2. Um... Doom, Doom 2000, Warcraft, no, no dance bad for DDR, I would literally, literally die. My heart will explode, like at uh, the end of a round of um, Primal Rage, just, um, but pretty much all the real-time strategy games use the mouse, pretty much all the adventure games use the mouse. Uh, and there's a lot of them. Um, some first-person shooters do it, or use it. Okay, so, the good doctor saw fit that we're going to use our bro Dimension Sifter, and Dimension Sifter currently has 100. 
for um, for morale. Uh, also has like full stamina, so health, and also infinite time units. So that that green bar with time units is not going down. And uh, we can just cap these aliens, these alemows, right in their dumb faces. So the XCOM project has been greatly expedited here. Alemow spotted. Get him. <laughs> Stream the arcade. Well, then that's not the PlayStation version. Unless you have a, um, have a way to put, like, the, the third, third mix disc in and play it or something, then it won't work. Alright, so I tested this out before the stream. Um, and everything works. And there are so many Alemals on this map that had I done this normally, this would have taken like an hour. Because there's like 20 on the ship. A Jamho Adapt? Is that, uh, is that the, the name of the, um, the board? Or like the, the interface? If so, that's incredible. Yeah, Dimension Sifter's going, going to town here. I don't know if he's even in chat right now. Yeah, I don't even see him. Oh, there he is. I see you. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out, Lurker. Alright. Because if we... If we did... I, so I want to get to the end of XCOM. I want to see what the end is. Yep, we have we have God mode on for just Dimension Sifter. You stood. I think you still could technically die. Oh, interesting. So it's it's like a standard standard board then. So I think there's there's actually like an alien leader in here. But I still don't have like a stun mechanism. Um, so we're just gonna have to shoot him and hope for the best. Yeah, you died. Rip. Alright. So there's also some more Alemaus uh, in here. We're gonna have uh, uh, not Drake. We're gonna have Dragasm sort this one out. Is it laggy on my end? Um, what do you mean? The game, the game runs laggy, but is like, is this being laggy? Because I'm not dropping any frames here. So if you're talking about the game feed, then yes, the game does not run great. Look at this great shooting by Dragasm. Oh man. And it didn't even kill it. Wow. Didn't even kill that Alemau. Well, the, the game feed is actually supposed to be stuttery, because this game, uh, <laughs> This game does not perform well. Welcome to XCOM on the PlayStation. It, uh... It's quite, quite the experience. Alright, so we, we took down that Alemau, um, in that field back there. And... Hopefully that one is a uh, is a leader. 
we can we can ask it nicely where its bases are on Mars, and then uh, beat the game. All right. So when we when we um, get back to the uh, the world map. We're going to start building a whole bunch of shit. There is no keyboard for the PlayStation. It would be nice if there were a keyboard. But PS1 only had a, uh, a mouse peripheral. And as far as I know, there's no way to do like... Um, Uh, controller plus mouse. Some games do let you do that, like you plug in a regular controller to um, port 1 and then port 2 is uh, a mouse. Yeah, nice short game. Well, evidently Valkyrie Profile is relatively short for an RPG. Alright, so we took out all the Ala mouse. Now we're going to start building a whole bunch of bases because Dr. Game Shark PhD is also a very wealthy man and uh, he lent us some money. A little bit of money. Yep, that Dreamcast controller. Uh, how can you guys defend that controller? It's so bad. So bad. Now this, this is a controller. Now this is a proper, proper controller. Just about just as many buttons as a, uh, a Dreamcast controller, actually. <laughs> All right. Uh, live aliens recovered. We got one. Actually, we got one. Hopefully that one is like a leader. Alright, Dimension Sifter is now a captain. Drake is now a colonel. Captain Drake Chasm. Alright, so you might have noticed here that um, something is wrong with, with, with this. Don't worry about it. This is just the Game Shark. Dr. Game Shark is a little messy when he works sometimes. Sometimes there are problems with uh, how he operates, but he gets things done. Dr. Game Shark gets things done. Alright, so we're going to want two more living quarters. So Dr. Game Shark gave us two hundred and sixty eight million dollars and yeah. It was very generous of Dr. Game Shark to lend us to find it in his heart to lend us two hundred and sixty eight million dollars. I think I already have a lab, but we'll make another one. Uh I want more stores. Okay. Uh, workshop. So this is gonna be like our research base. Australia 2 is going to be all research all day. Okay. And then we're going to purchase. <laughs> Nothing at all is wrong here. This is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. All right. Let's see. I think we're also researching Ala Malmobiles here. Yep. Uh, what we got here? 
Vergasm is still wounded. We still need more soldiers. Let's get four. Um, so somebody mentioned that Plasma is pretty good. Though I'm not sure I even need it now that I got... Uh, uh, Actually, I need them for I need them for my ships, I think, for my interceptors. Oh well. Well, in any case, I need a uh, uh, stingrays. No, no storage. All right. Well, whatever. Good enough. Let's get another uh, interceptor then, and then we can just sell it later. So let's stop manufacturing these. Put them all on Alamao navigation. Okay. But we should also build a new base, I forgot. We got all this money. Let's do this. Alright, so this one's gonna go in um America here. Go right here. Wherever that is. Alright, so this will actually be a for real base with real people in it. Yeah, that's totally a continent. I agree. Alright, large radar. We want living quarters. And... Uh, about two living quarters. And I think that's all I can really build here. Alright, and then we want another base that's just going to be another... Um, like research base. Uh, all right, let's start moving into Africa here. All right, so this will be another. Africa. Deep in the heart of Alamos, exactly. Alright, same deal. Gonna want a hangar, a radar, and then living quarters. Oh, we need general stores too. I forgot. Hopefully, I built that in the other place. Alright. And then one more for research. And then I'm done, I swear. I swear. Alright, how about like right over here? Right here in the desert. Sure. Elamals are going to um, Australia base. That's how you spell Asia, right? Alright, so now we're cooking with gas here. Uh, now we can get some real progress in this game. Aisha base. Good enough. Okay. So 
I ordered those a while ago. All right, Australia too has scientists. Let's put them to work. Damn girl, that Aisha base. Uh, research, research. All right. Can they? Uh, I don't think I can share like research between bases. So. Uh. Hyperwave decoder? Sure. Lab space available zero. What? I have 40 scientists and they have nowhere to work. Are you for real? <sighs> A lab's not gonna be done for a while too. Great. All right, let's transfer some over to Australia then. I think I had enough room for like nine more. So I was I was reading into like weird exploits you can do for this, and um. Uh, Alone the Dark one is not on PS1. Because it came out in like 92. Uh, so one of the weird things you can do is monthly expenses are calculated at the on the last day of the month. And if you transfer your scientists between one base to another base, they're not calculated in monthly expenses. Neither are like um, uh, engineers or soldiers. So I guess when they're when they're on um, on transport ships, they technically don't exist. So if you want to save every dollar in this game, uh, you could do that. All right. Everybody, all in on new fighter craft. Do I really not have any more launchers? Great. All right. Well. I think I don't have enough room. Yeah. Great. All right, let's make some more general stores then. Gonna take like a month to build. Oh, 10 days. All right. That's not bad. Okay. So another thing I read is that apparently the um, the UFO or the XCOM Commission doesn't care at all if you um, uh, actually go like shoot down a UFO and then go check it out after it's shot down. As long as you shoot them down, that's all they care about. All right, classic alien with that maximum speed. Sure, weapon pods. Sure, firestorm. Fighter transport. Yeah. Um, MDK was excellent. I really liked MDK. Uh, in fact, uh, this there we go. That's how I felt about MDK. It took a bit over three hours, uh, and four out of five was the uh, final score for it. I did, in fact, feel top. You also missed some sweet missing textures, apparently. Alright. So I think a...
Yep, motherfucker. Those aliens in MDK were very rude. Very rude aliens. Alright, we can now make a firestorm. Okay, no free hangers. Build a new hanger. Alright, so can I... Transport... Alright, let's... <laughs> I should probably just sell off this, um... Sell off that second, uh... Second thing. Yep, there goes Laguna Beach. Alright, uh, Australia 2? Can I send him Interceptor 5? Alright, sick. Okay. Now let's see how long it's gonna take to make this, uh, this firestorm. Alright, stop making that. Oh well. Wait, did I, did I really not put oh well in the dank meme list? It's required one. Oh man, we got so many to make these. 14,000 hours. How long is this going to take? 29 days to make one. Great. Well, sounds like I need more workshop and more engineer. Uh, how long is that going to take? Two days. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, they're working on it, so we'll get there eventually. Okay. So besides that, everything else looks pretty good here. Alright, so we're going to shoot down Alamau's, if at all possible. That one is on the ground. Um, I don't know if my... Sky Ranger can make it there. Wait, Australia 2. Australia 2, do you even have weapons? I'm not sure if Australia 2 can even handle this mission. Crew of 10. What do they have? Uh, uh, a laser rifle. Alright, well they got laser rifles, so they'll be okay. All right, Australia 2 is going to have its first mission. All right. Well, I don't know. If I were going to spend a lot of hours playing something like this, it would probably be the newer XCOM and not this one. Or like the more streamlined versions of this, because this is just systems upon systems upon systems, and I don't know. I, I'm not really about that life. Hey, heck. What's the matter with you? So even though we've expedited our XCOM here, this is still going to take a while. <laughs> still going to take a while. Especially if it takes forever to load. Okay. Wait. Alright, so those guys have laser rifles. Okay, so now we're good. 
All right, this guy is going to be our champ. Shigeru Noguchi. Great. All right, let's find where that Alamao is. All right, here's the edge of the map. Here's the other edge of the map. And then the trick here is to have them move slightly from off camera and they'll move way faster. Still haven't spotted the Alamaus yet. There it is, all right. So this guy is going to wreck, wreck everything here. All right, come get some. See much faster this is. It would have taken us like half an hour to get to this point before. It'll be Shigeru Dreggasm. Be this dude's name. Because the uh the Australia 2 team does not currently have a Dregasm. Sometimes it just won't move. Like I'm clicking, I'm spam clicking there. It just won't move sometimes. Alright, I think that was all of them. So let's uh, end the turn and see what we got. Nope. Still some left. Ooh. Alright, that's one way to deal with it. <laughs> Alright. Mission complete. Much faster. I think the load times for some of these missions are going to be about as long as the missions are now. Oh no. Rip. They just kept him in the fridge, and apparently, the fridge is not good enough. I th I think only soldiers that have a line of line of fire will actually shoot. Though apparently they can still like shoot it shoot it into the ground or something. All right. Uh I don't really care about rockets here. Not like I'm using them. I do want stun rods, though. Yeah, apparently I can't even get them. 
I need to equip, start equipping people with stun rods because I need to start capturing Alamaus alive. Yeah, it was a merely okay. Not a storage base. All right, fine. Um, what the hell can I get rid of then? To make all right, we don't need all those rockets, I guess. Okay, now can I buy? All I need is like two stun rods. They're being sold to, sold to companies, I guess. Private industry. All right, Australia to general stores. Uh, I don't know what I was storing in Australia to. Um, I was getting getting stuff for the interceptor here. Hey, Rathgar, it's going great. I almost won CC Time Crisis two at the beginning of the stream. It's going okay. Alright. That, and then here we're gonna get a stun rod or two. There we go. Is that so hard? Just to get two stun rods? Wait. Sacrifices have to be made for... Um... <laughs> to fight the Elamal Menace. Yeah, you missed Time Crisis too. I'll probably do it again at some point. I did, um, I did double gun mode or dual wield mode. Medium. Or... Whoa. Antarctica looks a little, a little rough. All right, this intercept. Wait, I don't even have missile launchers yet, so I can't even do anything. Yeah, I just gotta let this one go. I guess I could chase it. Like, see where it lands. Alright. Let's send... Send this and just see where it goes. Peaced out. Sure. Alright, return to base. There's our stun rods. Hey, you didn't read in the paper about the, the Great Al Alamal War in 99? Gotta remember which button is which now, because all the textures are screwed up. All right. Luckily, it's only those textures that are screwed up, and not like the rest of the game. Because I don't care that that the planet looks all screwed up here, and uh, just the up and down buttons got got screwed up. Everything else is fine though. All right, so now we're equipped to actually deal with Alamaus. In the Americas. Okay. Wait, really? I thought I... I thought I bought a bunch of them. Uh, Australia 2, what are you doing? Yeah. 
All right, enough. That's that's good enough for one full plane load. Our bases should finish constructing fairly soon here. All right, so that was Australia One General Stores. Uh, how's our research going? Four. Twenty days to make that. Yeah, we need more engineers. We need more workspace and more engineers, but it's still gonna be a while before we get any of that. And then this is gonna be our, our research base here. The beanbag. Wait, didn't you start that beanbag review like an hour ago? <laughs> Research complete. All right. Transport and combat. Huh. All right. Well, this is this is slower than. Um. The fighter, but I think this is faster than the Sky Ranger. 3100, build capacity 30. Oh, you paused, okay. All right, 3100, seats 12. Ultimate, cra all right, well, guess what I'm making. Shields is, are also good. Hell yeah. And then I guess we'll research shields at that uh that other base. All right, now produce lightning, but we don't have workspace for it yet. But we'll make one later. Just out of curiosity. Oh geez. All right, hold on, Cape Town. I'll get to you in a second. Uh. Ufopedia. So, 3100 was what, um, how fast the, the alien transporter could do. Um, this does 760. So the, the, a, the Alamau transporter is more than triple the speed of this thing. So this should let us respond to stuff quicker. Uh, it looks like fuel capacity is a lot lower though, so it doesn't have as good of a range. Plus cargo space, but since one guy can just ruin a whole map now, I don't think that matters. And HWP, those are like combat things. And then interceptor. So the max speed on these currently is. 2100 and uh, Firestorm is 4200 yeah so these these are quite a bit faster but actually I never checked to see what the damage was for Stingray and the other one so 70 range of 30 and the avalanche is 100, range 60, 100% 100 accurate. Why aren't I using avalanches? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, we're kicking stingrays to the curb. All right, Cape Town, I'll get to you in a second. But first, but first, I can't believe I never looked that up. I've been using the crappier missiles this whole time, and it looks like I got rid of my avalanche launchers. Great. Alright. Uh, per 
purchase avalanches. So they're way more expensive, but who cares? The other one's missed all the time. Yeah, somebody did. I got a lot of, let's say, sketchy advice. <laughs> According to Cyrus. Some people were giving out shitty advice earlier. Alright, good night, Toaster. Alright. Terror mission. So I can't remember if I actually have the stun things. The stun stun rods on this team or not. Oh well. I could totally do this pistols only. Because we have infinite, infinite everything, so totally good. <sighs> so I'm really not looking forward to Alone in the Dark 2. I still have bad memories of playing the demo for it, for uh, the demo for the first game, and holy shit, was that that game is actually spooky. Oh yeah, I need to put in oh well into the dank memes. Hold on. We do that right now before I forget. Sorry that the game is slightly chopped off here, but I need I need to do this. Um Oh well. Alright, there we go. Alright, it's in there. Okay, there we go. Why is what active? Alone in the dark? Like, activated in the pole? Or like, why did it win, or what? Because it's a survival horror game, and people like seeing me suffer through those. That is... that is why... Pull that you missed? I have no idea. Thank you for the host, Cody. Welcome. Alright, these things... These things are new. I don't think I've fought these things yet. I got something for them, though. Oh, shit! Good thing I have infinite, infinite health. No, I actually I looked at the database. We still have a lot of survival horror left. I thought we had done a lot of them. We're not even like a third of the way through the survival horror games. There are a lot of them. Whoa, that works out. There just happened to be a dude right there. Yeah, how could you miss Rugrax? I even tweeted about it. Or I tweeted Ed. I'm not gonna shoot the civilian. Please. I need points. More points, not less points. A spooky PS explosion? 
Um, what would that be then? You have to go through the go through the database and like hand pick hand pick some games to just do. Oh damn, these things look serious. Well, that's why I make um, that's why I have vods. I make it a point like I spend about let's say half an hour to sometimes maybe an hour after each stream, which uh, at these days is about eight to nine hours. So I spend an additional half an hour to an hour after the stream now making the VODs for everything that happened. Just so that if you missed it or your, your sleep schedule means you can't catch it, it will be up within within the next day or so. Welcome, G Deck. Still, I wonder what the hell these are. Oh, those are like, those are those post things. <laughs> what was so funny about Hexen? Please. I didn't get lost at all. This guy's probably safe, right? Hey, Lamau. This map is huge. Alright. I kind of just want to shoot a hole in this wall here. You know what? We're going to do that. Alright. We're going to make a door here. Over here. Make a door here. I just realized this is Drake gathered the whole time. I really like this mechanic of just being able to shoot shoot holes in like everything in this game. Whoa, no 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 no. Misclick. Don't kill me, bro. Don't kill me. Alright. Misclicks in this game are so strong. Also, I can see why having a like a plasma plasma weapon here would be pretty pretty okay. Hey, Jerry, going good. How are you today? I got some uh, some gun con twos in the mail. Along with Time Crisis 3. So I did a uh, an almost 1cc of double gun mode in uh, Time Crisis 2 at the start of the stream. Alright. I think this is a door. It is. Alright. Right. Make a door here. Sometimes these walls are just unnecessarily sturdy. Okay. I think we've almost cleared out the map. Let 
move up here. That alien was coming right for me. Right for me. I had to. I had to do it. Okay. So let's clear out this store then. No, no, no. That alien had it coming. They wouldn't call it a terror mission if they were just out shopping. Alright. Click here. Alright. Gonna end the turn and hope for the best. Nope. Still one left. Alright, that was a, um, a shutter, a shutter door. Hey, Red. Oh man, there's like, there's a ton left. Unless those were civilians moving around. <laughs> a simple clock. Yeah, god, that's so fucked up that that, that kid got arrested for a clock. Man. Oh, cops. Cops, please. Alright, so there's probably Ayla Mouse in here. Ayla Mouse love warehouses. There we go. Knew it. Alright, this is probably the last one. If I can ever actually hit him. Come on, Drake. Come on, Drake. Alright. Now let's see if that was the last one. Nope, one more. That was RNG, please. They clearly have, have guns. They're shooting something. They're not there for shopping. Yep. We, uh, we recruited a very talented young scientist by the name of Dr. GameShark, PhD, MD. And uh, really improved the task force here. We're able to bring the fight to the Ayla Mouse very effectively through the talents of the young Dr. Game Shark. See that? Yeah, this guy was clearly up to no good. Clearly up to no good. Yeah, Dr. Game Shark came highly recommended. Alright, now that was the last one. Nope. Still not the last one. Oh man, Ayla Mouse, please. Great. It must be like up on a roof somewhere. Well, now the hunt begins. Clear every building. Looking for Ayla Mouse. Hey, Croc. Alright, so somebody mentioned last, like, let's say four XCOM sessions ago that Ayla Miles don't like small rooms. Check the map. 
Yep. That's usually where they are. <laughs> hey, McCaw. Hey, man. I take my orders from Supreme Commander of the PlayStation Nation, Mr. Caveman DCJ, and he says that uh, this is the best version of the game. So please file all your complaints towards the, the president. He didn't actually say that, but he probably would. It's the PlayStation version, so it's clearly the best version. All right, there's probably Ailey Mouse over here. Yeah, we uh, we recruited a highly capable um, new scientist. He goes by the name of Doctor Game Shark, and uh, the war effort is going real good, real good. But there's this one Alamau that is currently eluding us. Somewhere on this map is an Alamau. Alright, go off of there. Look at that, Drake Gather, like a boss, just jumps off the roof. Okay, we haven't been in here yet. Yeah, Diablo 1 on PS1 is actually really good. Um, it's direct control, so there's no mouse at all. Um, and the game was, they, they built, like, the gameplay around that, so it actually works. Um, gameplay-wise, it's identical to the PC version. There we go. There's our Elamal. Okay. That was the last one. Right? Nope. Yeah, Warcraft 2 is also on PS1. It's uh it's a real banger. Okay, I'm going to spread my other troops across the map and <laughs> and see if we can just find anything here. All right. Send you up here. Dragasm, please. Regasm, get off the bus. Regasm, get off the bus. Oh, he's blocked, that's why. Okay. Oh, the civilians. Wait, can they... Do they need to be, like, infected first? Or... Interesting. So I should go investigate all the... All the civilians? Alright, well we're... We're gonna park our team around here, for now. Also, there might be, like, alien miles up here. Okay. And... Park you... I already cleared out this house, but... Maybe I missed one. Alright. Well, Dreadgasm 8 is going to just stand watch over this civilian then. Okay, end the turn and see what happens. What? So Drake Gather did take fall damage. Shit. Drake Gather broke their legs, but continued to soldier on for a turn. Pour one out for Drake Gather. Oh man. Well.
Dr. Game Shark did his best. But apparently the the mortal wound stat is different from the stamina stat. Yeah, we already built um, Peepo Memorial Park. I guess we could name the Sim Theme Park Park against Drake. Or name it after Drake. Bullshit, where is this? Where's this last day, Lamau? Oh my god. I'll search every building. Is there. Wait. Is there even anything. What's the point of this room? It's just... Stairs. Oh man, this game. Alright, where haven't I looked yet? Alright. Over there. Probably... Looked up here? God. This mission. Now, if you want to see a Game Shark trolling, um, look up the VOD for uh, Fade to Black. Fade to Black was like 10 out of 10. Game Shark trolling. What the hell happened there? The soldiers just like turn sideways for some reason. Yeah, that's probably where the Elamau is. Oh man. Uh it's probably like right here behind this door. If it is, then Oh, we're gonna put this one on ice. also be real great if <laughs> sometimes the soldiers just don't move like I'm clicking but they just don't move all right over there move it oh my god why does it do that I'm doing all right today. All right. If this alien miles behind this door, then fuck this game. Okay. This game is safe for now. Uh, where else haven't we been yet? I could actually use this map for once. Okay. That's flo it might be like right here. Oh that's on that's on the second floor. Um <laughs> Hey boys. Wait. This is red. Wait, is that a what is this? Those are civilians, okay. It's probably- it's gotta be like right here. It's gotta be like right here. Alright. Right here, where you can't see, naturally. Alright, we're gonna turn this corner, there's probably an Alamal like right there. Uh, X 
XCOM. Great. Nice misclick. All right. Of course. Of course. They're still not dead yet? So all these guys got infected then, all the civilians. So, the yellow ones here are civilians. Uh... Maybe it's, okay, maybe it's like over there. Maybe there's another one right around that other corner. I fled to this orchard or something. All right, go over here. Find these Ava Mouse. Probably in this orchard. That's usually where they go if uh, aliens want to be jerks. Either that or like in the house or something. Oh my god, XCOM. If only. I really want to see the end of this game, though. Uh, Alright, we're going to get to the end of this mission. I'm going to save it, and then we're going to do whatever's next, which is probably Alone in the Dark. We just got to finish this mission. I don't, actually, can they get a new Sky Ranger? I haven't checked the Sky Ranger again in a while. Maybe they got, uh, got on the bus here. Nope, not on the bus. Well, great. We got a runaway Ayla Mao. All right, Dimension Sifter. Oh, we've already come across future. There's already been flyers. There are dudes in like purple, purple robe things. All right, Dimension Sifter, stairs are hard, so let's just let's leave you up there. Good try, buddy. Take a knee. Take a knee. As far as I know, these guys can't fly, or I haven't seen one that flies yet. These guys just have a ton of armor, though. Cannot believe I have infinite stamina turned on, and I still can't find one runaway Alamau. Yep, Drake. Drake unfortunately broke both his legs. He's very valiant. Jumping out of that that window to save like five seconds of movement time, but paid for it dearly. There's nothing back there. Oh. Pretty sure these guys can't be like disguised. So, uh, I do have a mouse actually, right here. This is a PlayStation, a Sony PlayStation mouse. It is a ball mouse and it's got a uh, PlayStation controller connector on the other end of it. It's an official Sony thing. Um, keyboard would be great. keyboard would be rather rather nice but this controls pretty okay with the mouse 
Um, I tried it out with controller earlier today, and it's actually pretty good. It actually controls pretty good with uh, with the controller. Um, the uh, the like world map things actually control better with uh, with the controller. Believe it or not. Um, there's probably one like on a roof somewhere that that I'm missing. All right, so let's start. Let's start making doorways here. Shoot holes in the ceiling? I can. Alright, Ayla Mouse, you got nowhere to hide now. If you're up there, I will find you. Come get some. Alright, I guess they're not up on the roof. Actually, can you... Does this work if you... If you blow up around a tile on a ceiling, does the middle part fall off? I want to know if this is that sophisticated. Nope, it just hangs there. Alright, well done. Well done. Be one like right here? Alright, where's my closest trooper? Of course, it won't let me move. My god. Like, the, the pathfinding calculations are probably, like, too difficult. Which is why sometimes it just won't even let you move. Right? Apparently, it's still not there. Well, great. Uh, alright. Let's just... There we go! Found you! Get some! Alright. That was the last one. For reals, this time. Yep. Okay, we did it. We did it. Our pilot's gonna give us the you did good sign. And now we're done with XCOM for today. Holy shit. This game is so tedious. And of course it's got to load. It is. So, we lost Drake. Poor went out for Drake. We recovered five live ones. Alright. We did it. Uh. Okay, so get... Get yourself hyped up for Alone in the Dark 2. It's gonna be a real banger. We're going to start that. Start that in a minute or two. 